If you try to tot up the amount of water you use every day, it would of course include what you drink and the quantity you need to cook, wash and brush your teeth, but your water footprint is much bigger than that. You have to take into account the amount of water used to produce the goods and services you consume. Economists call it virtual water. Some of the figures are eye-opening. For example, a closer examination of the food on your table reveals the hidden environmental cost. Scientists calculate that to grow the wheat in these two slices of bread takes 150 litres of water. In this hamburger, it takes 2,400 litres. And for this kilo of cheese, 4,000 litres. <laughs> If you imagine one huge reservoir, the amount we need for one year, it would take the Thames 3,500 years to fill that reservoir. That's the amount we use annually. We use about 200 million litres per second just to grow our food. The amount of virtual water used to make what we drink is also staggering. For example, to water the grapes in this single glass of wine would take 250 litres. In this single measure of brandy, an astonishing 3,000 litres. And in a cup of coffee, 140 litres. But it's not just food and drink. It's the transport we take and the clothes we wear. For instance, the World Wildlife Fund tell us it takes 11,000 litres of water to make one pair of jeans. The average Briton uses 150 litres of water every day, enough to fill this bath. Add virtual water and that amount increases dramatically. It's estimated we use 3,400 litres every day. That's enough to fill 23 of these bars. Every one of us, every day. For countries already suffering shortages, environmental groups argue our water footprint leaves a deep and damaging impression. 